Hello, my name is Captain Kelly Moniz, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Southeast Division in the City of Los Angeles on September 17, 2022 at around 1.20 p.m. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies in the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Southeast patrol officers responded to a radio call for a domestic violence investigation at a residence in the 400 block of West 102nd Street. Here are the 911 calls and corresponding radio broadcasts. LA City 911 operator 458, uh, yeah, the address is uh, 4 West, uh, 102 Street, L.A. Okay, do you need police or a paramedic? Yeah, police. Uh, there's domestic violence. What is going on? Uh, so my dad is drunk, and he started beating on my mom, and I tried to get involved, and now he attacked me. Okay, does your mom or you need a paramedic? No, we need the police. What's his Got to deal with him. What's your dad's name? Is any Southeast Unit, Battery Domestic Violence, 4 West 102nd Street. The suspect is a father, a male Hispanic, 50 years, wearing a gray tank top. Close to the city, 2065, already 1822. Monitor for additional. LA City 911, Operator 281. I need the police here. I called earlier. Okay. What was the location you provided, sir? 4 102nd Street, West. One moment. Let me pull up your call. What are you reporting there, sir? Domestic violence. Okay. And your name is Luis? Luis. I'm the son, yeah. You're the son of who? My dad. I'm all bloody because of him. Okay. Okay. And uh, hold on one second, Chase. Okay. Um, so he hit your mom too, right? Yeah, I was defending her. Okay. All right, sir. We have the call. Let me let him know you need him out there. Where's your dad now? We already have he's in, he's, uh He's in here, but, like, I left the gate open. He doesn't know I called. Okay. I'll let the officer know, sir. He's going to call, and then he, your call is next. I'll let him know, okay? The front gate is open, yeah. Okay. I'll let the officers know. They'll be on the way, okay? Thanks. You're welcome. 1817, 1817, additional on your domestic correction, battery domestic violence, 4 West 102nd. The PR called back. He has now got into an altercation with his father. It's additional incident 2065. When the officers arrived to the residence, they approached the front porch area and saw the suspect emerge from the front porch holding what appeared to be a black assault rifle. That suspect was later identified as Luis Herrera. The officers repositioned themselves and gave Herrera verbal commands to drop the rifle. However, he did not comply with the officer's commands, shouldered the rifle, and pointed it directly at the officers, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Herrera was struck by gunfire, fell to the ground, and was taken into custody. A portion of this incident was captured by surveillance video from Herrera's residence.
A portion of this incident was also captured on the officer's body-worn video. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. You got what? All right. I'll do a door knock, all right? Yeah. I got you covered. Hey, hey, wait, wait, put that down! No. Put that down! Put out the help call, put out the help call! Hey, put it down, put it down! Put it down! Let go of the gun! Let go of the gun! Today's 17, cross fire, cross fire. Watch wide, watch wide, watch wide! Get back, get back! Get back, get back! 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 1817, 4 West 2nd Street. You good over there? I'm good over here. I got him right here. Damn. 1817 is an RA needed. Tell these supervisors when you identify. Hey, you got it, dude. I can't hear, man. Suspect is down. Still holding on to the fire. Hey, let the gun go, man. Let the gun go. Let him know where I got this covered. Just go comms all the way. Hey, hey, hey! Señor, muévase ahorita! Muévase! Muévase ahorita! Muévase! Muévate ahorita! Unit responding response, Westbound 102 from Figueroa. Metense! Metense la casa ahorita! Charlie, right here! Hey, I know, I know, get cover! All right, all right, all right. Yes. Bring what back? Pardon, I can't hear, dude. What? You got us from behind us? Yeah, behind us. All right. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have us covered? Redeploy. 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 Redeploy out right now. I already got it. All right. It's a big property, dude.
Goes like half block down. Yeah, what? Goes like half block down. Clear. I'll do a door knock, alright? Yeah. Hey! Hey, wait, wait, wait! Put, put that, that down. down! Put that 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 down! Eighteen day seventeen, shots fired, officer needs help. Hey, hey, get back, get back, get back! Get back, get back! Get back, get back! Get back! Patras! Esperen allá! Ahorita lo ahorita hablamos con ustedes! Esperen allá! Sacó rifle! Esperen ahí! I got it, I got it. You good over there? I'm good over here. It's just a family. I got him right here. 1817 is an RA needed. Healthy supervisor is ready to identify. 1817, Roger. RA is needed. Suspect is down. Still holding on to the firearm. Hey, let the gun go, man. Let the gun go. Which way, do you, what way do you want him to respond? Let him know. I got this covered. Just go cover yeah. all the way. 1817. Hey, hey, hey! 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 Phoenix responding, we're from Westbound 102 from Figueroa. Metense a la casa ahorita! Detail lighting for any officers hurt. Charlie, right here! Hey, I know, I know. 18-18, are any officers hurt? 18 a 17 all officers are accounted for. Suspects down. All right, all right, all right. 18 17 suspect is down. Suspect is on with the rifle. We yes! We need to respond southbound. On Grant only. Suspect is respond respond southbound Grand only. Suspect is down, armed with the rifle. Bring what back? Pardon, I can't hear, dude. What? We're clear behind us. You all right? Yeah, I'm I good. need a coach, uh, Robert. Eighteen and seventeen. Let me get him yeah. away from now. Yeah, you have us covered. Not contact. Read the board. Read the board. Read the board. Read the board. Worse in the chest. There we go. All right. All right, ready? Go up. You guys got gloves? Yeah. Okay, right, go. Ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah, move it up, move it up. Hey, 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 Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene and determined Herrera to be deceased. After the officer-involved shooting, it was determined the rifle Herrera was holding during the incident was an airsoft rifle. Investigators recovered Herrera's airsoft rifle 
as well as an additional airsoft pistol resembling a Glock pistol at scene and booked them both as evidence. Investigators also determined that there was no evidence of domestic violence between the mother and father, as Herrera had indicated in the 911 call. Luis Herrera was a 19-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all Los Angeles police officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD investigates all serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org where you can also find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.